Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got a package of these one watt super bright uh, LED chips, and I thought we could make a, a strobe light for Halloween. It'd be a, a neat, easy project to do. I uh, I just soldered some leads onto one of them. The side that's marked blue there is the uh, cathode. I thought this would be a, an easy project we can do. Yeah, you know. Couple minutes won't take too long. It'll be a little bit of fun. So we have to decide first of all how to do it. Do we want to do it using an Arduino, or do we want to use it doing discrete components? Let's do it using discrete components. Arduino feels like cheating, right? So we need an oscillator first of all to turn our strobe light on and off. How are we going to do that? Well, let's bring in my all-time favorite I see the 555 timer and here it is set up in my super simple 555 timer setup you just take a potentiometer which doesn't want to stay plugged into the board very well and put it between pins 8 7 and 6 you wire pin 6 to pin 2 put a uh, capacitor between pins 1 and pin 2 pin 8 goes to VCC then of course pin 3 is your output and if we power it up we get a square wave basically now can we adjust it well kind of I mean it looks like it's getting faster right and there is a very minor frequency change here but all we're really doing is adjusting the duty cycle here let me show you by hooking this up to the oscilloscope so you can see the waveform so we'll just put in a ground here and put our lead into pin tree Get in there. <laughs> Doesn't want to go. Should don't want to go. Come on now. Oh, nobody. What is up with that? Like this worked two minutes ago. Try again. Pin three. Okay, there we go. Pin three. If we bring it up there, just our trigger. There you go. And you see, we're getting about like seven hertz, you know. And then if I adjust the potentiometer, yeah, we're getting a couple hertz difference, but mainly if you look at that waveform, all we're really doing is adjusting the duty cycle. So, how can we make the frequency adjustable? I'm glad you asked, because it's really simple. And we have most of the components we need to do it already on the board. So let me pull out this probe and unplug it. Because, you know, even at 3.5 volts, working on live circuits, never a good idea. You could short out your circuit. Okay, so to make this work, we're just going to pull out... Our potentiometer here hey focus man what's wrong with you now here's where it gets interesting let's take <laughs> nothing wants to plug into this row here let's take a line from pin 3 and we'll bring it over here and we just need a uh, Suitable resistor, something along the lines of 47k, somewhere in that area. Just keep the current kind of low. Do it like this. And 
And then we're only going to use the wiper and one leg of the potentiometer here. Like this. And, and I made it too far because we have to come back. So let me move that over here. See, unscripted, we're doing this off the cuff. This is how it works when you kind of think out a project in your head. So, then from one of the legs, doesn't matter which one, we are going to feed back to pin 6. So what's happening here is we're taking the output from pin 3, feeding it back through this variable resistance loop and then back into our trigger on pin 6. So now if we power it up we have <laughs> have nothing. I mean we have something but it's not what I wanted. It must have been a potentiometer was not compatible because it's working just fine when I swapped them out. So here we have it again. And you can see. I know you can't really see how how much that's flashing there. But there I can slow it way down. And then it speeds way up. So let's put the oscilloscope back on it so that you can see. All right, so there's our waveform. And I adjust it. And you can see we have very nice adjustability. You can take it all the way down to what? About 4.4 .4 hertz. And then all the way up. To 161 hertz. So that's that's a pretty good swing. So now let's do this to make it our adjustable strobe light. We'll take out our LED that we used, you know, just for visuals. We need something that we can use to switch the uh, high-powered LED on and off. We're going to need a transistor, but we're not going to be able to use a BJT. It's just not going to do the job. So we're going to use a MOSFET. It really doesn't matter which one you use, as long as it's the end channel. This is a uh, IRFP2907, I believe. Anyway, it's gate drain source. So we'll be doing this as a low side switch. So we'll hook up the gate to the output let's put this down here of the 555 timer just like that and then we'll take our LED and the cathode will go to the drain whoop fingers <laughs> is that thing even focused Zoom in here a little bit. There we go. Now focus. Then we just need a jumper here to a VCC. This is using three and a half volts. I got this set for about five volts, and I'm limiting the current at about 350 milliamps. And then our source goes to ground. Just like that. So gate goes to the 
pin three of the 555. Drain goes to the cathode of our LED and source goes to ground. And then we hook her up. Always connecting our grounds first. And we get nothing. Why are we getting... There we go, because the LED wasn't in. So there is a slow flash. Move my hand over here. And we can crank it up. Camera isn't quite picking that up, but that's flashing uh, quite quickly. Maybe if I turn it, you can see it better. Well, you really can't see how fast that is flashing. That is crazy. I tell you what we'll do. We'll hook up the uh, the oscilloscope so you can see exactly how fast that's flashing because it is like crazy fast. Maybe you can see more of it as a reflection on my hand. No, not really. All right, let's uh, let's get in there. There you can see 30 hertz. This is the flash rate. Let's turn it up more. That's down. <laughs> there we're up to 240. Now 240 hertz. I can't see anything at all. So that's beyond, you know, the eye. The eye can't see much above 30 hertz. Now there we go. I can see that it is a quite annoying flash. And that is what? 22.8 hertz. I wish you could see how fast this was going. I mean, the camera's not picking it up, but it is. It's just super fast. Let me try and... That's the slowest speed. And then that's the fastest speed where you can't even... You can't even see a flicker. And that's where I, the, my eye is starting to see it again. So that's it. That is a super cool Halloween strobe that will definitely blind your friends. <laughs> I hope you like this. Basically, this was just to show you how to make a frequency adjustable, a stable multi vibrator with the 555 timer. This is just bonus material. All right, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it, I'm out. Peace.